Welcome to Long Lost Brothers, the podcast devoted to talking shit and self-improvement. My name is Brett Scott. And I'm Jesse Cole. And we are the Long Lost Brothers. And Jesse Cole, you have a funny story to tell me. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how funny it is. It's more like being a fucking psycho. It's kind of like every week I'm just telling you this crazy shit that I'm going through. But like, um, okay, so check it out. My, my, my fiance, um, it's like... Our office building is two blocks from my gym, right? And uh-huh. uh, she had to work a little late. So me and my son went to the gym, right? And um, I took this pre-workout. It just had me, like, fucking all fucked up. Like, you know, just, like, overly amped. And I'm fucking what? a bench press 300 pounds. My son hit a PR. I'm feeling all gangster. And then... Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what kind is it? What, what, what pre-workout you're taking? Fucking uh, I can't remember. Uplift Max, out Outlift Max. Some bullshit. I bought it right at. I don't know. Okay. I, it's fucking. It's just it's more than like super caffeinated. It's uh, you know, it's mm-hmm. just basic shit like three hundred fifty megs of caffeine and fucking uh, like a bunch of beta alanine. So like yeah. you know, you know, some niacin to make your skin and shit. Like you know, all right. Just, just nothing out of the ordinary. Some just okay. some shit I bought because I was like, I'm gonna start lifting weights again. I'm gonna pre workout and go to bed. But anyway, okay, so I'm but this shit is like crack, bro. I'm not lying. It's like fucking hashtag meth, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. like I can't, like I tried to like go like big and scoop and a half, and I was like, that it's on Saturday, and I was like, yeah, I'm done taking the like I have to go exactly one scoop where it's like cracked out, like anxiety, like side effects. Like, anyway, yeah. so I'm experiencing these side effects where I'm super edgy and just fucking grilling right and me and my, my son hit a max on be on bench press and so did i and um my 16 year old almost hit two plates man anyway okay so we're, we're doing the you know peck deck bullshit you know just whatever like the afterthoughts uh, after you hit a pr and um in that pump yeah and my wife uh or my, my fiance rather text me says some bitch is hitting my car with a stick in front of the office I'm like two blocks from the office. I'm like, what? I said, Jaber, come on, man. She's about to go to, or I said, she's about to pop off. And <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. He's seen me in this mode before in a, in a younger days and shit popped off. So anyway, uh, I'll get my car. I'm like, skirt, skirt, get over there. Um, my girl and her coworker are pulling up at the same time as me. And I was like, man, there ain't nobody here. And Jaber's like, there's shit. There's two people in the alley. I was like, two people in the alley about to get beat up. Right. So <laughs> I'm hopping out, and then it's like, no, no, it wasn't them. Uh, the coworkers, the one that saw the girl, like, some girl in a with like one of them traffic coats, and I was like, she's like, I think she went that way. So this is where um, female privilege is actually a thing. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. This is this is gonna prove it because this is a dude to be fucking pooping his teeth out right now. So I knocked him down his throat. So I drive over to there. I see this chick. I was like, hey, oh no, no, first there's a cop right here. So I'm like flashing my brights trying to get him like, hey, hey, hey. So I was just going to do the right thing what normal citizens do. But this was like totally oblivious. It doesn't even look. I'm like, I guess it's not me. Fucking, at least not going to jail. I'm not going to hit her because I don't hit girls. So anyway, we pull up on this girl and I'm just, hey, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like fucking screaming at her like, don't go hit my fucking wife's car with the sticks. Like, I wasn't, I was like, I just saw you. I didn't really see her, but you know, it, she had the stick in her fucking hand, bro. And it was like, like, you never seen like them four foot concrete stakes? Like, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. use for concrete? Okay, so she, yeah. she had a four foot, uh, she had herself a four foot stick, stake in her hand, like a van, like a stake, like you put in a vampire if you think talking about like a fucking ribeye or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> so she goes, I don't have no stick and puts it in her little shopping cart she's pushing on the street. I said, listen, fuck. I said, listen, lady. Because <laughs> I was about to call her a fucking bitch again. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna be screaming fucking bitch outside your car. I said, you have my idea. fucking wife's car with that fucking stick again. I was like, you're gonna fuck around and find out. She said, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, that's female privilege. That is female privilege. I was like, man, I should go get Kimberly have her come over here and smash this bitch out. But there was no marks on the car, so Kimberly's kind of just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why would somebody do this? I don't know. I was just like, man, she is 100% lucky that she is not the owner of a penis. Mm-hmm. Because I would have hopped out. Be- and- you don't no, know. 
Dude, it was like the you remember that girl from um from uh, what's that show called? Uh, why can't I think of it? You know, Peter Griffin. He, he the Family you know guy. what's her? Yeah. yeah, from Family Guy. Fucking the she was like the Consuelo from Family Guy. Uh-huh. Like, I don't have no stick. I was like, oh, why, man? Like, why would you be just out in downtown hitting some some random fucking car with a stick? Very strange. Yeah, so, I mean, behavior. yeah, it's even stranger behavior that I went and screamed at a crazy person. But yeah, downtown Aberdeen's kind of nasty, man. Because then it's like I flipped around and went through the alleys to like go back to where my wife was, and um, there's like I didn't you know, so look over and there's like just like a dude like fucking blasting some fucking meth or heroin like in his vein. I was like, bro, I'm moving back to the country, son. <laughs> That sounds, that, like wild. Hometown, dude. that sounds like yeah, my hometown, dude. That sounds like my hometown of Springfield, man. It's like, it, that's how it is. That's how it is. Like, these motherfuckers. I was like, yeah. Yeah, man. So, anyway, I don't know if that's funny, but, dude, yeah. Hold on. There's something else that was funny that happened, too. I had a whole bunch of stories, but we on Sunday, but it's Monday, and I've worked, so I have less stories, and I'm really tired. But, dude, <laughs> I've been having, like, <laughs> okay, so I took on this job with the, with the county. It's basically the same thing I've been doing, right? I'm a, I'm a housing case. I'm a housing program specialist. So like I'm trying to help people then are vulnerable, have housing vulnerability to maintain um, housing. Right. Um, so like, I don't know what it is, but now that I like, I work for the, the county, I have like, uh, I've been having these dreams, man, where it's like, I'm like doing something that's like super more important. Even though it's like exactly the same thing I've been doing. Like, I'm just like, ah, oh, man, what's up? <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, but I've been training, dude. I've been training super hard, like, like lifting, so, like running, like everything, like both. Yeah, just like nice. Been getting up. Uh, I ran and set. I ran seven miles uh, with Adam on a Saturday. Friday, that Friday was that bench press. We and Jaber just went balls to walls, and then I ran that seven a seven miler. Um, on trail, got a decent time, but you know, I was sucking How wind was a little. That? I know it's been not, sucking, so yeah, not bad. It's getting better. Um, I just been, you know, forcing myself to do it. So uh and like not the key is just being consistent with it and then not eating like an asshole. So yeah. like yeah, so we got like about eight weeks, right? Roughly seven, eight weeks. I don't know where we at. We got all of May. Well, we still got a week uh, uh, half a week left in April. Then we got all of May. And most of June, so yeah, about eight, I think, about eight weeks. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. That's a lot of time. Right here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, six, seven. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have to like do some jumps on my little pyramid. But uh... yeah, the only problem with it is, is that yeah, it might not leave a lot of room for the taper. You know what I mean? That like yeah. the final like. Yeah. I'm two hip. I know. I know I'm hip to that. I'm played myself, bro. I, I got like a couple setbacks, so like it's like I should have like allotted for like time that I wasn't gonna be able to, or like you know, like I left like just no room for for error. Yeah. Right. So now I'm I'm like behind, and it's like you know I've had like problems with my joints because i've been as i'm bigger than i was trying to run last year like it because i didn't realize it until yesterday i posted this picture i was like oh that was me last year i'm way leaner right now and i'm feeling like a fat bastard you know yeah but uh because i got so shredded last year that it's like now i'm like oh this is fat so like maybe if i get shredded right. again next year, I'm like oh i'm a little less fat but it's like but it took some perspective because i'm like okay i see myself last year and then i see myself now like side by side i'm like Okay, I definitely like. I don't even know what I weighed in that other picture, but the weight's close. But it's like I'm getting a lot of muscle mass. Like a lot of the weight that I put on isn't just fat, so that that's good, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, and I think the biggest thing is that the last year you didn't even start. I mean, like you're running this marathon way earlier than you ran the last yeah. one. I think what was it August last time you ran it? Yeah, yeah, late July, September maybe. Yeah, okay. So, Ooh, but I remember, yeah, because I ran mine. Yeah, I ran mine in, in June, at the end of June, the same date. And then you were just starting, like, training for yours. Yeah, remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to, um, because I was just trying to be less fat. 
remember like all the hashtag less fatter uh i was running that yeah. hashtag hard and um so yeah i'm just hoping like the you know i can maintain this for the next uh like whatever you know i mean if even if everything goes wrong i'm showing up on the 23rd to fucking run a marathon i don't give a fuck like i'm gonna do that shit no matter what because we yeah we, yeah. you know it's what it is but um yeah I was, I'm hoping to do better than I did last year, but it's like, man, I was like 170 something pounds last year when I was running that marathon this year. I'm like, I'm still over two bills. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. But it'll be all right. Like no matter what, it's going to be okay. You know? Yeah. You, I mean, you got some time. I mean, two months is plenty of time to lose 15, 20 pounds if you was hustling, but yeah. you'll be fine. I mean, I remember even last, even last time you did the marathon, you, you didn't complete your, training cycle remember you got towards the end you're just like fuck it i'm just gonna do it it was a, it was a few weeks early <laughs> you're not wrong bro i am a fucking yeah. crazy person yeah i mean I, and last time you remember what i did last year like i ran 14 and then it was like i think i can run 26 and i just <laughs> i mean it was terrible i fucking did it and it was terrible and it took me five and a half hours but it, you know what i mean it was like i didn't actually yeah. train like i am this year uh, I know. It. I'm proud of you, man. You're you've been putting the sticks to it. I'm like, damn, bro, started hitting them 17s. I was like, yeah. what's months out? I was like, he's gonna be dialed the fuck in. You're gonna smoke me, I think, bro. Oh, well, like, I, I sure. hope that I don't <laughs> blow up. You know, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I hope you, that the wheels don't come off. Like you're yeah, like you're because... picking too early. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's it. I mean, I'm following this this training plan to yeah. a T. I the only thing I've fucked up is like on a couple of the marathon pace runs. They just fall on the like the worst day of the week for me to get the timing because like um, I like OK, so my my wife kind of allots me time to train, yeah. you know, time I, to I, podcast, shit like that. So I allot her like every day, a couple hours to herself while I'm taking care of the kids and stuff. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, that's just kind of an agreement we have. Right. So like I get my time, yeah. she gets her time. And so every day at five o'clock is her time. And uh -huh. like. So, but the kids get out of school at three thirty. So the goal is, I'm like, all right, I, my son gets out of school, and I take him with me. Like he don't usually run; he just like plays at the park or whatever. But, um, I'm trying to get done and be back home by her free time. Yeah. And it's tough when you got eight miles to run and you got an hour and a half. And it's like it's tight. So yeah, I've been cut like a couple get, of those got. They got cut that short. Minute pace. Yeah. So. You know, um, a couple of those have been cut short, but I've hit every single long run. Sometimes I have to run it a day early to make sure yeah. I get it. Like, you know, so it's not exactly like the training plan, but, and I'm still making the mistake of running a little faster than it tells me to run. Like okay. it'll say, it's telling me to run super slow, right? Cause it's still building up that cardio base. You're supposed to be running. So it wants me to run like 12 minute miles and I just, it's, I can't, it's like walking. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no, I did like um, so Adam ran with me, and you know he he's a little bit bigger and stuff, but like I could have went a little faster, but um, we're hitting like twelve and a half, thirteen minutes is our average pace for the seven miles, like but I, like you know, but is like last year, it's like whatever miles it is, Kim, like how long are you gonna be gone, right? Because it's like every yeah. fucking Saturday, it's like try to get yes. up early as fuck and you know it's like and then i'm fucking trashed for like three hours after that you know it's like you know my legs are just fucking ruined but it's like uh, i gotta run eight miles so it's gonna be about 80 minutes give or take right right right, right. like every and it was like clockwork almost every time until i was, I was like when it got up to like 20 it's like i don't know babe like <laughs> this is a lot this is, this is the furthest i've ever ran like you know yeah. that's a deep that's deep waters mama you know, yeah, like same, same thing, man. My wife would be like, how long are you going to be gone? I'm like, and, 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 and you feel like an idiot to say some crazy ass. And you're like, I'm going to go for a run. And she's like, how long are you going to be gone? You'd be like, about three hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are you? Crazy. It's like, you, you enjoy this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna be you know she look at me like yeah right you're gonna be running that whole time the whole time i'm like well i you know, mostly you know, yeah. it's like it's yeah, gonna like, take me three hours it's gonna take me three hours and like you know just to, to someone who doesn't do it three hours to go dude, no, do any kind of workout sounds stupid that's a lot you know yeah. like i mean like, running is fucking work man i don't know what it was like 
last week my fucking cardio was just in the dirt. I didn't I don't even know what was going on. I was like, what the fuck, man? I was like, this is a problem. Yeah. You know, like I'm having a hard time like doing elliptical and shit. And then, and then I don't know. Saturday came around. I was like, let's fucking go. It was raining a little bit. It was He's raining. Long. We went. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was, it was raining a little bit. Got on the trail. It was fucking beautiful. You know, it was like yeah. I needed like that, like that, like not uh, like I ran. Um, It was like a, a set, like a eight or seven or something. And I did it. The day before, because so, oh, I was like, it was an eight, and then we did, I did that, and then it was like, um, I should actually ran 10 miles this weekend. I've kind of fucking delineated from the path, but um, so fucking I ran six and a half, my foot was blown up. I don't know if you saw my story, but like, I got like a fucking purple knot on my foot that about that big, about the size of a quarter, and it, it doesn't hurt now, but at the time, I was like, I should stop running now. If we're going to hike eight miles tomorrow. So it's like I ran six and a half, but then the next day I hiked eight miles of a waterfall. And, you know, that that'll build some cardio. And it's like I think that's going to play to my favor as well, because um, it's hiking weather now. And that's like me and Kimberly's fucking jam. You know what I mean? So it's like like that's like that good that good money where it's like you can try and go fast. Like Kimberly's not going to really allow for that. I mean, she's she's a mountain goat. Like she's like hiking her shit, you know. But, uh, like, we went up into this fucking Cathedral Falls last week, and, uh, and there was, like, a snow drift, and I, like, sprinted up it. It was fucking dope, dude. Like, <laughs> like even my tore back foot, but I had on, like, like I, I was wearing my old Brooks when, like, I think they gone to shit. I don't know, because it just ripped my fucking foot apart at mile six. I was like, I'm glad this was not a longer run, because this, I was like, like, I got to wear, like, my good ones. But then I had, like, my Ciccone trail shoes for that. Like that, that run on the trail, fucking perfect, you know. Like, yeah, I need some new shoes. I think it's about time. I usually about Father's Day every year. I ask for new shoes. I got, I got some white Pumas. I haven't, I haven't cracked open yet. I'm, okay. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think, and let. I don't want to take them on the trail because they're fucking white. I bought them for running on the street. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Next, uh, next street run, I'll probably. I think Wednesday, I'll try and break them in. See, I think, yeah, I'm, I think, I think I'll stick with the Brooks next time. Oh, he broke some fire. I, had, I I bought these on the off of the internet. I haven't even worn them once. Uh, they've mm. been sitting in a box in my closet over there for still. I think I got them in like December. Like I haven't even. I'm curious, man. Is, Let me know. I will. They, they, they aren't expensive shoes, but they 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 look like they're. It felt cushy when I put them on. I was like, all right. I was like, all right, these might work. You know, even just like you know. Decrease mileage on my fucking ghosts and just wear those on like the the short runs. Yeah, like, I think uh, I've been I've been noticing a big difference though in definitely since with the way I trained last year compared to this year because like now I'm hitting these long runs every weekend and they're longer runs than I was ever doing before. Like like you said, I just did 17. I think the week before yeah. that I did 16 and then two 15s before that, and um, it's yeah. doing what it's supposed to because. I'm lasting longer and longer with a super low heart rate. Like I noticed I was doing my 17 and I, I had to do this one on the treadmill, which yes, sucks. Man. But, but you know what I did is I just, I, I watched fucking Jack, Zack Snyder's justice league <laughs> and that's, and it killed the entire run. Like I was like, Oh, what's well, something to do yeah. during this run. Um, so that's what I do when I'm running on the treadmill. I just find a long ass movie. Like I watch a vendors end game last week or something. But, um, but when I'm outside, those are the best and i think those are the real tests like you know yeah. what i mean like well, that's what it's, it's like, like my joints are so mangled right now they like um you know i have to do like i have i almost have to do the treadmill and the short runs and then i'm trying to run the, this trail what's up by my house um on the weekends like i think that's the move like i otherwise i don't know like my knee is hurting and my hip is hurting. I'm like, this is all bad. Like, this is not how I want to be living. Like, you know, <laughs> like if I sit too long, my hip hurts. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. And I've been stretching trail, like religion. The trail will help you like slow down too. Like, make sure you're going nice and slow. Um, so unfortunately, I am gonna have to do this fucking satellite. Um, so I'm gonna run it on that trail. I think because the trail is, really? yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a satellite just because the, the new job and the pay schedule is different. And it's like, it's a lot of shit. 
yeah, I've had a, a significant changes since uh, you know we signed up for this thing, but um, yeah, but uh, yeah, but I'm gonna just run that trail back to back to back to back to back till it hits marathon, right? And How then um, it? uh, it's seven miles down and back, so it's gonna be like eight eight laps or something, whatever, eight laps and some change. Mm -hmm. And then I figured that way though, I could just put a cooler in the trunk of my car and then I yeah. can have like a support station right there, you know? Yep. You don't have to carry nothing with you. Yeah. Yeah. That I know. thought about doing that. We have a nice, uh, it's a little too short though, for my liking, like it's a, it's a, a four mile loop. I'm like, I don't know if I want to run that six times. <laughs> you know what I mean, like right. more, yeah, six and a half times, but, Maybe, well, and, uh, and it's gonna be like a weekday. It's Tuesday, so nobody's gonna be on that trail. So I figured, that's the best. That's the best time to do it, man. You know, go smoke that yeah, thing. I run, I run mine on a bike trail, and that's how it was for me. Like it was pretty damn empty because I started out like six or seven a.m. and like, yeah, it was pretty damn empty the whole time. It was nice and cool because it was super early in the morning. Yeah. Starting out, it started heating up by the end, you yeah. know. But we need to, we need to synchronize times. What time you're gonna start, and I'm gonna start. I want to do it. Yeah, same. that might be tough just because we're three hours different. Yeah, because you know I mean? if you're gonna, because if you start early, it's gonna. Is it later for me? No, it's gonna be later for you. So if I start yeah. at seven, you'd be starting at four a.m. Like I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> it's so early, man. I'm not ready. I just had to see where your time is and beat your ass. And try. <laughs> No, I feel like I feel like maybe we should though try to coordinate. Like maybe I'll start a little later because I think it'd be cool if we could like voice chat or maybe even do like not not a podcast, not a full on podcast, but we could we could put together something like a podcast, like where we're like checking in and recording yeah. each check in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. I'm like, super we can run that. the last run the last mile together or something. You know? Oh, that'd be gangster. Yeah, Adam's gonna Adam's gonna run. The whole time that I'm running and see what how much he can do. That's the, his thing. So, so that's dope, man. Adams, yeah, Adams, like he's getting after it, bro. I'm, I'm proud of him. He ran like, like good. Like I was like, what the fuck? This motherfucker's starting to move. Like you know, I was like, all right, all right. Like, yeah, he's a good dude, man. Uh, yeah, you guys should check out uh, Cascade Kingdom on uh, Instagram, man. It's his, uh, his clothing pro. He's fire. He's the one to put me up on game on how to do, uh, you know, uncontrollable substance. Yeah, he's got uh, my, that like uh, that PNW wear, right? Like it's all yeah. like hiking, uh, Northwest like made. Yeah, it, yeah. He's from like the like Portland area, and um, yeah, man, he's cool shit. He's, he's got looks some, good, he's got man. I saw, cool. I've seen some of his posts, man. Some of his like, uh, I, I like his stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Like, um, he's he's skilled. Oh, hold up. Uh, let me see. Let me see, but uh, Kimberly's uh, uncontrollable substance thing just came. Can you guys see it? It says, uh, it says, if you're gonna be salty, at least bring the tequila. I like it. Yeah, that, that's a, a Kimberly design. Um, <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out uncontrollablesubstance.com, I, I would hope you would do so. Uh, that yes. needs a little, Jesse little bit of cake for the Jesse, <laughs> yes, but yeah, man. Yeah, anyway, enough shameless plugs. What do you uh what have you been doing uh entertainment wise, man? You've been watching any shows? Oh, you been... Mortal Kombat. Um what'd you think of that? that? What'd you think of Mortal Kombat? Fuck two thumbs up, man. You love it? Uh, everybody's shitting on it, man. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. I Oh dude. <laughs> I, I started it. I got through that first like opening scene and like um which was pretty cool. Like you know, it was in subtitles. And then you get to like that fight where Cole Young is like having a fight. Um, and then I, I didn't have time to finish watch. Like, oh, but yeah, no, it's just, dude, if you get a chance, yeah, no, it's sick. And then there's also on HBO Max, there's also um, an anime called The Revenge of Scorpion. And really? it's kind of, yeah, I mean, and it's like a similar story. So it's kind of dope. Is it fire, fire as fuck? And then like I've been trying to like, Kimberly hates it, but there's a cartoon of Spawn that's on HBO Max as well. That's dope. Dude, it's the old school one, right? Yeah, dude, I fucking love that. When I was when I was a kid is when it debuted. I was in like, oh, really? Uh, it was all yeah. new to me. So, oh fuck, dude! I, I didn't had know that was a thing. DVD, bro. Like, I still got them on DVD. Yeah, man, the Spawn animated series, bro, was so fucking good. So fucking good. What did you think of the finale of Winter Soldier? I know. I mean, I know you did a podcast on it, but uh, I was I hitting did. right. 
Yeah, man. Like, I loved it. I loved it. Like, I, you know, I'll be honest. Like, when they first, in at the end of Endgame, when Steve gave his shield to Sam, like, uh, and, and I think a lot of people run into this because, like, they're almost afraid to say something because they think that people always think they're, like, racist or something like that. But, like, there was yeah. a lot of fans who were unsure of that. Like, they were like, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's but just I mean, to see anyone else as Captain America, you know what I mean? But well, yeah, I mean, because he's like, killed it, you know? Yeah, like, it, it, he is Captain it. America. But right. I got to say, man, this series, in this series, Sam earned that motherfucker, dude. Yeah. He, dude, that, dude, like, I, that believe, I love him as Captain America now. I love it. Yeah, he's super outspoken, you know? Like, yeah, he's doing the thing. You know, yeah, man, he's got he's got like that and, moral code, like yeah, Steve Rock. Yeah, exactly. Like, and, and they brought a U.S. agent out of being the total super douche. Like, yep. Like, he's on the team. He's a hitter. Like, you know, he's 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 with it. I, I was like, cool, man. I knew he would come back because you know, like you were saying earlier, like in previous episodes of this podcast, that he's not like a bad guy. He just can't handle his shit. You know, like he's got that yeah. roid rage. Gets a little angry. Yeah, he's been. I mean, you got to think, man. He he is. Uh, he seems to be a good man, but yeah. he's been for one. He's been trained to be a fucking soldier, like yeah, and like an unquestioning soldier. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, when I shoot like that, you know. Yeah. So and it's tough. His fucking, oh, he said he's like had that little yeah. little twitch. <laughs> he said, hmm, yeah. mother, like <laughs> I get that. I get that though. That's how I feel when motherfuckers talk to me, like. In the wrong way, it's like <laughs> really. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm glad I, you're lucky. I retired my jersey, bro. <laughs> I, I, I think I think it was a great series, though, man. I I like the the new relationship with Sam and Bucky. I think like yeah. it it was funny and it was yeah. It was yeah, we how Bucky's like all like hitting on his sister and shit, but like down low. I loved it. I Zemo it. still. Yeah, okay, it's been out for like four days. It's a spoiler alert, but like Zemo killed yeah. all the super soldiers. Like, yeah, whew. yeah, Zemo is a beast, yeah. Man. And oh, the and then what the fuck? Go ahead, fucking Shannon Carter. What's up with that, sis? Shannon Carter, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, she's the power broker, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm still questioning that. Like, she never actually said, like, yeah, I'm the power broker. Like, people said it to her. Yeah. But she's exactly. trying to find some some military secrets. Some yeah, national- but well, I that's, I'm thinking maybe she works for the power. Like maybe there's still a power broker we don't know about, and she mm. just works yeah. for the power broker. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. So know. coming forward after this though, there's a Black Widow movie and then Loki. Is that correct? No, Loki's first. They moved Black Widow back to like July, uh, June, I think. July, mm-hmm. July. So. We got Loki on June 11th, Uh, and then um, I don't know if you're in the Star Wars shit that's on there, but they got a um a series called The Bad Batch that comes out in May. That's like uh I don't know how much you're into Star Wars, but that that, there was Mando. That was a rap. Yeah, Mando was good as fuck, man. But there there's a series called um. That's Bill Burney. I'll watch it. So if he's in that, I'm already signed up. (laughs) <laughs> well, this, yeah, no, this is more animated shit like it's uh anyway it, it's something else i disney plus just gonna keep coming out with shit like constantly yeah. it's like star wars marvel star wars marvel star wars and it just don't quit it doesn't did quit. you watch uh king kong versus godzilla i did yeah we talked about it on here already yeah that was all right that was all right um we talked about it on oh, here no. yeah. there, there's a dope series actually that we watched it's um that uh shadow and bone Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I saw it on there. I haven't, I haven't watched it. Um, it's kind, you know, you, it's good. It's fucking good, actually. We, I mean, we were saying watch the whole thing. It was good. And good, I did, yeah. Eight episodes. Uh, hour is eight hours. Okay, eight episodes. Yeah, and then that good girls is hard too, man. If you ain't, if you ain't been up on that, you should check that out. That's all right. I never heard. It's, I, it's, more, it's like a girls show, but it's funny, like. It's kind of like um, like have you seen Ozark or um, Breaking Bad? It's kind of something of that ill. Of course, people that don't really have no business doing crime get into crime and then realize how shit gets. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, 
I'm gonna have to wrap it up. I got this time. I gotta go do some things, but um, early yeah. show. I know. I'm sorry. This it's is all right. a show. All right. All right. Well, I gotta. I gotta handle some business. Put some kids to bed. So, uh, yeah, man. I'm uh, excited for the way things are going with the training. I've been hitting some two days. Um, we will touch a base again soon. After this marathon, we're gonna come up with some of these long lost brothers challenges. Yeah, saying I can't wait that, for that. Saying that with a sultry voice deep in the mic. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's like super serious. It's like a in a world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Challenges. I Too know. Man. Dude, I know. It, it is like the challenges keep a gangster. You know, it makes it hard. It's like, ugh. yeah. Work for some of them 500 ab roller days. Yeah. yeah I can't All right, wait. brother. All right, dude. I will talk to you later, everybody. Uh, we 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 put these out on Facebook. We put them out on all the podcasting apps. So wherever you're listening to this, if you want to go see the video version, uh, it's on the Facebook page, Long Lost Brothers. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, what was it? Long Lost Brothers underscore podcast. Yeah, yeah. That. Uh, check out Jesse Cole's clothing line, Uncontrollable Substance. Please do. Substance uh, yes, Check out. My uh, my my podcast I've really been plugging away at Marvel Plus, where I break down yes. all the Marvel Disney Plus series. Yeah, that shit is hard as fuck and fire. And uh, yeah, man, Red Scott, dude, you're you're coming into your own in the podcast game. Uh, I'm doing my best. I mean, it's it's uh, it. you're killing it. You're working. You're getting, you're getting after it. I appreciate you. All right, all right. We'll talk to you guys later. Later.